Are you ready to learn about string interpolation in Kotlin? Kotlin provides a lot of really useful functionality for working with string data types. In this video, we're going to specifically take a look at string interpolation and how that makes our lives easier. Okay, so let's take a look at what string interpolation means in its most basic form. So we see here we have a function called print user info. So let's say we want to say print line, and then we want to build up the string that we are going to pass to this. Now in a Java world, this might have meant concatenating multiple strings, such as we see here. You'll notice that in Java, we are doing some formatting, then doing a plus, and then passing in the first name, and then we're having to add some more formatting to get a space, and then the last name. However, in Kotlin, this is quite a bit easier. So let's look at a basic substitution then. We'll add our quotes to indicate our string. We'll do a dollar sign, which indicates that we're going to do a substitution here into our string. And then if we wanted, we could pass the user object as a whole. This will then use user.toString to insert that into this quotes. And if we wanted to add some formatting, we could do that. User is, and then the user will be substituted in. And you see here, this is really convenient because we're not having to break this up into multiple parts. We can do all of the formatting at once, which makes it much easier to read and to write. We can also do multiple substitutions within a single string. So if we jump over to this user class, we'll see that we have this function get formatted name. And if we look at the string literal here, we'll see we're doing two substitutions. We're doing the dollar first name space dollar last name. So this is going to print out the first name space last name. And we can see how that's formatted and it's very easy to read and to write. We can also do complex expressions here as well. So let's say that we wanted to use that function that we just saw on the user object. So again, we'll do our dollar sign here to indicate a substitution. And then we want to do user dot get formatted name. But we'll see there's a problem with this. After the user object, the rest of this is formatted as a regular string. It's not picking up the fact that this is actually a, an expression where we are calling a method on this class. To handle this case, we can use a complex substitution here. So in this case, we can use the dollar sign again, and then we'll add enclosing braces. Within the braces, we can then perform complex operations. So in this case, we can say user dot, and now we see we're getting the autocomplete and we can say get formatted name. Now we're gonna get that function call and get that formatted name for us. You see, this becomes much easier than, than it would have been in Java. We don't have to break this into multiple parts. We can do all the formatting in one string literal, and we can perform complex operations within these substitution expressions. So it's really useful. Hopefully this has helped you learn a little bit about how string substitution works and why it is really useful to us as Kotlin developers. Thanks for watching.